Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of simple formulas, basic formulas in Microsoft Excel. And a couple of formatting things. Notice this word expenses actually is in column A. Columns go vertical. And it's a little bit longer than the column is wide. So if you just double click there, it'll actually make that long enough that actually the word net income here is a little bit longer. So the column is wide enough to see the entire word or words now. And the same thing here, total expenses actually is in column B. So if I double click there, total expenses and all the other words are um, are are can easily be seen in all of column B now. So that's a way to uh, easily format uh, columns so that they're wide enough. Now this is actually a simple, a really simple income statement. And I'm going to use it to show you a couple of formulas. So for example, in an income statement, if you have some expenses, and in this business they're auto expense, hydro, natural gas, wages, we would want to add those all up. Now a really simple way to add all of those up is to use this symbol right here. That's the summation symbol. So if I click on that, and now if you ever see this symbol, Actually, notice it's telling me that the number is 16,891 right below it. That means that the column isn't wide enough to see all the numbers. So if we just double click on this, it'll show us that it is. Now, often in an income statement, when, when you get to that, you would actually want to put that number right over here. So notice that this cell is highlighted and it says equal sum C5 to C8. So it's actually finding the sum of the numbers from C5. So it means column C row 5 to column C row 8. So I could just copy that this formula. All formulas in Excel uh, start with an equal sign. So I could just delete that and then just go over here and paste it. Because that's the formula we format you generally want in an income statement. Now another way to do that sum is we could instead just type equals and then actually just go this number plus this number plus and I'm just hitting plus each time this one and I'll hit enter and so knows it's the same amount and so that's a very simple for me just adding those four numbers and so if you only have a few number numbers that's that's usually a fairly simple way to do it. Uh, another formula you might want to uh, uh, um, an arithmetic one is once you have your expenses and your sales to get the net income you would take these sales and subtract the expenses from it so in I just double click to highlight that column and so up here I would type equals and this is actually D2 I could type D2 or just click on it and then subtract I'm just saying the minus sign this number which is D9 and hit equals and so that 8109 is the difference between 16891 and 2500 so there's a couple fairly simple formulas you can use in Excel. Uh, usually in income statements or balance sheets, just adding numbers or subtracting numbers, and that's a couple ways to do that.